Hey there everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, some Fire Emblem Heroes stuff today. There's a new banner that came out, Scions of Twelve. Uh, of course, we've already done the uh, silhouette prediction and the reaction to the trailer that came out. This is the final step in the cycle of Fey Banners, uh, where we inevitably summon just a smidgen, just a smidgen, uh, on uh, this, this upcoming banner here, or this current banner. Um, it's a cool concept. Uh, I feel like it kind of uh, shadows that Plegian banner. This is kind of uh, a Yggdral, Yggdral banner. I don't, I don't know. It's a festival based around the Twelve Crusaders, and that's kind of cool. So I hope that they do more like this, because there's a lot of those Twelve Crusader types throughout the different Fire Emblem games, um, whether it's the Eight from Alib, or I guess the Three from Tellius, or others. Uh, either way. I hope they do more like this. Uh, it's cool. It's weird that it's taking over the, the, the standard dance banner portion of the year. Um, I don't I don't know if maybe they'll shift that to November, or if we'll have Ninja Part 2 or some other kind of weird thing happening in November. Um, but either way, it's interesting. Um, by the way, members, thank you, members. Thank you, members, uh, for supporting the channel and helping to make some of videos like this possible. Uh, I very much appreciate your continued support. Uh, it's probably not going to be a huge banner that we're summoning for. Uh, if you recall, I did just burn almost 1,600 orbs getting a plus 10 legendary Micaiah. Was very... Uh, still no regrets. Uh, <laughs> but when I saw uh, the boys coming in as a harmonized pairing, which, let's be honest... It kind of flies in the face of harmonized Altina Sonicky. Like, let's let's be real. Uh, it could have could have very easily been maybe considered a duo hero. Um, in fact, I hear a lot of people calling it duo Leaf, but it's not. It's harmonized Leaf. Y'all need to get your facts straight. Uh, but I will probably make that mistake as well. <laughs> Full disclosure. I'll probably end up saying something like that too. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna hop in. And I do have some user questions. Of course, I have an AMA form. Uh, that's always on every video description. If you ever want to hop in there and shoot me a question, uh, by all means, feel free to do so. Uh, first question is coming from Tundral B, who is a subscriber. Thank you for that. Uh, who is your favorite child unit in Fire Emblem Awakening? Interesting. I've genuinely never thought about this. I'm assuming... Prium does not count. I'm assuming Prium does not count. Severa, I guess? I don't know. It's never really been a, a, a big thing for me, honestly. Um, not, not really something I've been uber concerned with. I think Red is Lewin, right? I don't remember who is who on this banner. Oh, oh no. I don't remember who's who on this banner. I know Leaf is colorless, and I know Larce is green, but I don't know who, who else. Julie, I think, is blue, or is she red? What is Lewin? I don't know. We'll pull one of each. How about that? And then we'll we'll maybe get one, and then that will tell us what we need to know. Um, favorite child unit in Fire Emblem Awakening? I don't know that I have one. If I had to pick, I'd say Sevra, I guess. Um, hey, oh, oh, okay, Lewin's blue, and he's also a five-star, evidently, even though he's also a four-star, but we got him at five-star. Okay. All right, that's fine. Not really five-star skill-wise, but, you know, still in existence. Well, that's neat, I guess. We're done pulling blue. <laughs> I wasn't really... I guess we got our answer. So, Julie is red. Julie is red. I mean, Lewin genuinely doesn't have any of the fodder I need. I don't need infantry flash. I don't need attack Rosella. Uh, this is cool. But it's for a blue tome. And frankly, blue tomes already have pretty busted perverts. So, 
Uh, I don't really see myself putting that on anybody in particular. Hmm. Colorless is good. And so is red. Uh, yeah. So I guess, I guess Severa. I guess I'll go Severa. I don't really know otherwise. I really like Cordelia. Um, I also really like Libra. I don't recommend pairing them. Otherwise you get blonde Severa. And then it just feels weird. It just seems really weird. I did that once. Uh, because I genuinely did like the two and the interactions that they had and stuff. But it was weird. I don't recommend. <laughs> I, I do not recommend doing that. Uh, yeah. So, Severa. We'll, we'll, we will say comfortably Severa. Uh, next question is Vistral, who is also a subscriber. Thank you. Uh... I'm glad you got an Erica with plus speed. Okay. Huge fan of Black Knight and Zelgius. Love his master's armor. Could you imagine that this one gets a rework over time? Uh, most of all, would you be happy about the standard Black Knight if he got a rework? Uh, I don't know what that means. A rework. Are we talking like a remix? Or like a resplendent? I uh, really like your videos. Thank you for that. And sorry about... You're bad English. I don't think your English is bad at all. I'm having no problem reading this. Uh, you're from Germany, and you look forward to more videos. Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, yeah, so I'm not sure if you mean like a remix, or if you mean like a Resplendent. Either way, I will answer on both accords. I think Resplendent Black Knight should absolutely be Need of Valir. I don't see why it wouldn't be. Um, plus, it would be kind of nice having that, like, that, that contrast with Brave Ike. I think that would be nice. Um, so, Need of Valir, I think, would fit him really well also, because, you know, very, like, steampunk kind of thing, and he's basically ironclad as it is. Uh, so, I think that would work pretty well. As far as a remix goes, I don't really know that he would ever get that. I genuinely don't. Um, it's, you know, he, he got the Allendite refine, which is awesome. Uh, basically the same as Regnal. But, you know, I think that's enough for him, honestly. I think any other skill would be, um, I mean, I guess you could give him other skills. I don't know that there would be a huge purpose to it. Um, but yeah, I think it, uh, I think, I think he'd look good in Need Valir. I don't know that he'll get a rework otherwise. But overall... Uh, I'm a, I'm a, I, I like anybody from Tellius, to be honest. So anytime Tellius gets a little spotlight, I'm, I'm happy about it. Except that one time, <laughs> last year, where there was, like, just a little bit too much Tellius, and then people were like, oh, I hate Tellius, oh, it's the new Fate's Awakening, there. But then, luckily, Three Houses came along, and then everybody started hating Three Houses, because that's the life cycle. <laughs> they love it, they hate it, and then they want it again, and then that's, that's the cycle. Love it. Hate it, want it again, love it, hate it, want it again, love it, hate it. Yeah, that's that's typically how it goes. So uh, I was I was happy to have Tellius kind of <laughs> take a minor back back seat <laughs> to to all of the is favoritism uh, for just a little while, at least. Uh, so yeah, Danny Mick five five five, also a subscriber. Thank you. Uh, where do the Dawn Brigade units, Edward, Leonardo, and Nolan, specifically, uh, rank in your list of units needing to get into Fey? I don't really qualify it like that, per se. Um, and I don't say need to be in the game, because no units actually really need to be in the game. Uh, anytime they get added, it's usually just to further the story of heroes. And there's there's very rarely an outside focus on their native game's lore. You know? So nothing ever, I think I don't think anything ever really actually needs to be in the game. There are things that I would like to see in the game. Uh, and naturally I would like to see the Dawn Brigade in. I'm a big uh, I'm a big Nolan fan. I'm a big Edward fan. Leonardo, I'm... Eh. I like Leonardo more than Rye. I'll put it that way. That helps give context. Um, 
but yeah, I don't I don't really think anybody needs to be in Vey per se. Uh, I think it would be nice to have them, but any any time I'm like, oh yeah, I, this this group or this character they need to be in the game. I think about all the other characters <laughs> from the other the other titles and how people have maybe been waiting like literal years for them to pop up. Um, and then I, I get I get a little sad sometimes because uh, it does it takes a while. There are some times where it really genuinely takes a while uh, for characters to get recognized. I mean, Thracia, Genealogy, those guys, they rarely get love. Uh, Valentia, <laughs> same thing. Unless your name is Alm or Silica or Faye for some reason, uh, you're, you're probably not getting a whole lot of spotlight. Uh, it's, it's frustrating, the number of banners that we have. Um, but I think that Heroes is doing a nice job of balancing OC characters with, you know, Fire Emblem Legacy title characters. Which I, I don't think is a popular opinion. Let me preface that. <laughs> I don't think most people would agree with me on that. Um, but it's probably just because the characters that they want and care about uh, have, have yet to receive the cycle treatment. So, you know, with with that in mind, in that regard, uh, they are probably inclined to disagree with me. But I think they're doing a decent job overall. Um, oh, 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 no. Oh, that's a, no, you're not Julia. Oh, that's a bad five star, I think. Oh, please, please tell me I'm wrong. Please tell me I'm wrong. Please tell me I'm wrong. Oh, I'm right. This is a bad five star. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, why is he a five star? Oh, no. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. This is... All right. I don't want to. I don't want to activate hy hyperbole, but uh, I think this is maybe one of the worst five-star non-focus units you can get. Am I wrong about that? <laughs> I feel like I'm right about this. Oh, that's troubling. And now we're right back down to three, aren't we? Luck was not on my side there. That's unfortunate. Oh, I should probably put you in up here, shouldn't I? And that's the other issue that I run into. I have to find him and add him from my. Oh. Orochi. Oh yeah, you're in the normal pool. <laughs> oh yeah, you're in the normal pool now. I forgot. I was like, wait, what? No, this is wrong banner. No, okay. Uh, Yuen, where are you? God, that's awful. <laughs> that's really not good. I'm waiting for the inevitable uh, hate comments to come my way. Like, why would you shame Yuen like that? Yuen's great. No, that this is a bad five star. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> I don't care about your feelings. The facts are facts. Uh, all right. So we're not... We're still not pulling blue. Lewin is blue. We have a Lewin. We got a five-star Lewin. We don't even have to upgrade him. I don't even think the IVs are bad. But overall, this four-star father is not useful to me, so... <gasps> oh, the gotcha giveth and taketh. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's exciting. Yo, let's go, dude. <laughs> let's go, dude. Oh God, that was a roller coaster. That was a roller coaster. Roller coaster. Wow. Okay, that's hype. That is Pog. Doing like again, Leaf is one of those characters outside of maybe his base. You don't need merges. <laughs> this doesn't need merges. This is stupid. <laughs> this is dummy thick good. Uh, the, yeah, that's so incredibly lucky. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the, clearly, clearly I was just getting baited by you in there, right? Like, this is, this has come to fruition, um, and I can make my peace with that. So I'm, I'm genuinely pretty psyched about that. I'm genuinely pretty happy about that. Very happy about that, in fact. Um, that is maybe, I don't really want to push my luck any further. I genuinely don't. I don't think I want to. 
There's no guarantee on special banners. There's no guarantee on special banners. Uh, before I lose my mind further, uh, where do Edward, Leonardo, Nolan, Dawn Brigade uh, rank on my list? I would say in terms of units that I want to be in the game, they rank about mid. I think I'd rather have Alencia's Guard in first. Strictly speaking, Tellius. I think I'd rather have Alencia's Guard in. Um, I think I'd rather have Mythics like Sone. I think I'd rather have more Enigma types like Stefan. Um, the Dawn Brigade's cool. But in terms of Tellius characters that I'm like into, I don't know that they're super high up there. They're probably middle. They're probably middle. I think characters like Marcia, Alencia's Guard, um, Stefan, Sone, maybe maybe an actual Degincia that might be interesting too. Uh, those characters are probably ranking the highest. Wow, just a bunch of three stars. Okay, <laughs> well, I get it. I totally get it. All right, we just got probably best possible IVs for Leaf. I get it. I am do nothing but three stars for this entire circle. Totally acceptable. Completely acceptable. Um, man, that is so lucky. That is so lucky. And Christian Lamont is a national treasure, by the way. I'm just going to say it. So. There. I'm not taking it back. All right. Um, I think we're going to end it. <laughs> I, I, look, I, okay, look, so I gave you guys, the, the overall Micaiah summon session was probably close to, uh, probably close to two and a half hours. I think the, the final cut time was 90 minutes after I had sped up portions and stuff. Uh, that's your long summon session for a while. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't really plan on going super hard on banners, uh, for, for a minute. Um, but this is really cool, and I definitely did want to get Leaf. He was definitely my top priority. Um, the others were kind of, like, nice-to-haves, uh, but Leaf was, Leaf and Self were, were definitely top priority there. Um, and, you know, they come back on double special banners anyway, uh, given the, the, the last summer vlogging that I took uh, we need to start building up some reason to pull on double special again because uh, right now there isn't really a whole lot because <laughs> I pretty much have everybody I want so if we start having you know Larsa and Julia pop back up again uh, that'd be great and uh, your boy would be looking forward to that so I think we're gonna pause it here I think we're just gonna call it I'm not gonna push my luck any further between legendary Micaiah Raiden Shogun I, my gacha luck has been expended, <laughs> okay, which if you haven't seen the Legendary Micaiah summon for Fire Emblem Heroes, or you haven't seen the Raiden Shogun summons for Genshin Impact, uh, you should check those videos out, they are on the channel, uh, and they are very exciting, uh, but first, I want to say thank you to members again, thank you members for your support, it is very much appreciated, and uh, thank you. Thanks. Uh, you should have an Outrun podcast coming out later today or tomorrow, too, by the way. It's recorded. I just have to edit it and get it up. So, that's coming. Um, but yeah, that is it. Let me know if you summoned, if you skipped, uh, what you did in the comments down below. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. And until then, I will catch you next time.